Hey, what's up guys? Marco here and um, Nico behind the wheel. Yep, driving at night in Las Piñas. Tonight what we're looking to talk about is what's been going on in the vaping industry, uh, particularly how there seems to be a complete lack of vaping of... etiquette. Exactly. <laughs> it's a term that gets thrown around a lot that people don't seem to quite understand, which is funny because etiquette goes with everything. Exactly. <laughs> Especially the newer vapors, man. There's so many new vapors nowadays and they don't really know, you know, I guess how to be polite with vaping. Point number one is um, something that everyone is familiar with but no one seems to follow. Don't vape where you can't fucking smoke. <laughs> don't vape in a jeep. Don't vape on a bus. Don't vape in a cab. Don't vape anywhere where you normally cannot light up a cigarette and smoke without somebody calling your attention. I mean, Jesus, don't vape inside a mall. I know there's fucking vapes, you know, there's vape stalls in the mall. Yeah. But don't vape there. I mean, you can see other people do it. Then you yourself don't bloody do it it's rude that's one of the main reasons why people think of it as uh, as something bad for everyone because people are doing it where they're not supposed to be doing it we're talking about vaping here vaping <laughs> should be vaping where, where, where you're not allowed to smoke other malls allowed people to smoke inside before and they stopped that a long time ago when it comes to vape stalls inside the mall the, the general rule is if you're within the stall it trying out a new device be acceptable. it's okay but you're not there to show off I know shops like Planet Vape I'm sure Shaq gets a whole lot of shit from people there are some people who don't know how to observe that etiquette and I know Shaq uh, personally and he's very firm with his employees do not chase clouds exactly. at the stalls it's an indoor area exactly you don't blow clouds in an indoor area especially if people don't know what you're doing in the first place exactly. I know vaping is getting more popular nowadays if you're in an indoor area and you blow clouds you know that could erase the whole bloody planet vape store that's just rude that's it's extremely rude, rude. It's if rude. you do it in a jeep that is fucking rude if you get an old person looking at you and they don't know that it's electric then you explain to them, uh, look, this isn't smoking, this is vaping. Who the they, fuck are you, man? Like, they won't like, give a shit. You're it's... blowing smoke, or something that looks like smoke anyway, into their faces. Exactly. And they mind. Don't Everyone do it wants. in a restaurant. People are eating. Yes, we all breathe the same air. But exactly. if you visualize it. If you it. could visually see exactly. somebody else's breath coming into your breath while you're eating. Man, that's disgusting. It's that's disgusting. just rude. Young people, listen up, man. Because <laughs> you are the bloody main suspects in this fucking point right here. Young people, man. Fucking 18-year-old people vaping for they the first cool. time. They think it's bloody cool to be smoking. To be vaping inside Mang in a cellar or something. Vaping is something cool, but you don't get into it to be cool. You get into it to because get you out of something that's smoking. bad. Exactly. You don't hop on the bandwagon just because everyone else is doing it. Which I guess brings us to point number two. When you are vaping within an area where it is acceptable to smoke, a smoking area, smoking area, exactly, a designated smoking area. Be mindful of where you blow your vapor. Don't be blowing huge ass clouds there either. If somebody's giving you a funny look, you're probably doing something wrong. Smoking areas, you think, oh look, I can vape as much as I want because everybody smoking and what they have are cancer sticks what I have is just vapor man that's not a good excuse it doesn't make you a better yeah. person for one and number two it doesn't excuse you from having a cloud competition up in the smoking area that's, that's again rude they're blowing out clouds that are just right in front of their face you're blowing clouds that are 10 feet away man that's way different if you're in a smoking area turn it down to I don't know 15 watts which is what I do yeah <laughs> exactly you don't have to be blowing out 120 watts every fucking time. The same way you don't like them blowing their cigarette smoke in your face, I'm pretty sure they feel the same way about your vapor. Primarily because they have no fucking idea what it is. Yep. They're probably clueless as to what it is, and even if it smells good, bear in mind this is something that I've heard a number of times. Oh, it, it smells good anyway. They say in Tagalog, mabango naman. That's not an excuse. What smells good to you may smell like absolute shit to someone else. Next point would be play nice. Make nice with everyone else. Be a nice person. It's a very small fucking world for vapors. Um, everyone knows everyone. Yeah, we're, we're talking about Facebook groups. We're talking about the vaping industry in general. The like shops if, you hang out at. Exactly. Yeah. Like, don't be a dickhead in Bulak Boys. Or don't be a dickhead in, PBF. I don't know, PVF yeah. or Vapors Marketplace. Because people will call you out. As somebody recently just, you know, he, he was crucified because he was a dick to everyone. You know, this industry is a very small-knit community. And everyone's out here here to help each other like exactly. we're here to help the community through reviews and videos and it's a very very small industry and for you to be dicking around with nice people man you're, exactly. you're just calling trouble into yourself like into your life trouble that you don't really need online anonymity isn't an excuse to be an asshole 
In fact, it's not anonymity it's, because exactly. everyone has your your, your, your face on it. Profile and everything, man. They know your last name. They know where you go to school because somebody's going to know you and they're going to brat you out. out. Exactly. Because that's the thing. Like the guy that was crucified in Vapor's Marketplace, a couple of people that thought he was dickheads actually knew him and they knew <laughs> which college he went to. And the reason why he had to do a public apology by video, which was pretty gay, by the way. He did it without a shirt. What the fuck, mate? Anyway, so he did it without oh, a this shirt. Is, this is what Slug that was guy, talking about. Exactly. So he, did, <laughs> fucking he, funny, did, right? he did a fucking, you know, like a video <laughs> public apology without a shirt on. He had to do that because people were trying to get organized to beat him up in his school. If he wasn't a dick in the first place, he wouldn't even have had to apologize to anyone. Respect to the guy for actually manning up and, and apologizing for it. I without mean, a it, shirt, though. Without a shirt, that was kind of gay, but... <laughs> You know, if, if, if you have the balls to apologize, that's one thing. And yeah. I have to salute that. Any man who can swallow his pride without a shirt on. Without a shirt on, yeah. <laughs> and, and can own up to his fuck-ups and, and apologize to the people that he wronged, then that's a big deal. But if you weren't a dick in the first place, you wouldn't have had to do that. I've had to apologize to, to a handful of people at one point because they misinterpreted With something. With a shirt on. yes. If you can't say anything nice, just shut the fuck up. It's a, it's a very small community. We've said it again and again. It's a small community where everyone knows everyone else. And generally, everyone is nice to everyone just don't be a twat and nobody's gonna treat you like shit it's simple even when you're hanging out at a shop nobody gives a fuck how much your mod costs does. it's funny how people with cheap mods are the worst I don't go around and saying look I've got the best mod around because I don't there's always there's gonna always be a something fish. that's more expensive exactly. you heard about the top hat top hats <laughs> what four thousand dollars I'm never gonna fucking buy that hand checks and shit they're nice I respect that especially those that take really good photos we do hand checks man we do like, everyone we all does everyone want does. to like show people what yeah, we, have. We, we have new toys and shit. We're all a bunch of big boys and girls, and the toys just got more expensive and fancier and shit. And we still like showing off to our friends. That's yeah, fine. show and tell. If you go around saying, oh, you're using a shit device. Fuck you. Mine is better than yours. Vaping was never a dick measuring contest. No, it never, it never was. was. It's it all about, that way. what toy have you got? I want that too. Oh, yeah. that looks pretty cool. That's could you it, help man. hook me up? Exactly. Do you know the guy who made it? Maybe you could talk to him and I could buy one straight from him. Man. Stuff like that. That's, it's that's a, being nice. That's being nice. It's a helpful community. Shops need to learn how to be nice too. You're not going to let your customers buy something from you and you're not going to teach <coughs> them how to use it properly. How many people nowadays don't know how to build their stuff because you don't teach them how to bloody use their shit? Learn to give back. Like the reason why you have a vape shop is because somebody taught you how to vape in the first place and you liked it so much you made it into a business. So you know what? Bring back to the community. Help people that you sell to, at least the people that you sell to, help them build their own coils. I know you're making money 150 pesos per build, but that's not gonna help them understand how to vape and how not to blow their hands off. We don't wanna be the guys ramming vape etiquette down your throat, but someone has to say it, man. Fuck, it's 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 just funny how rude people are Because you guys have been ramming clouds on people's throats and for a very long time and you guys have been like a lot of people have been rude i work in in makati central business district i work there and i notice there's a lot of vapors there and i notice that it's these guys who have the most expensive shit i have seen who are low-key who are sitting in a corner not showing off their clouds, not showing off their mods, just vaping in a corner, being really quiet. And these new guys, with a bunch of shit that they probably don't even know how to use, are blowing thick-ass clouds in everyone's face. And bear in mind, the smoking area in the building where I work is also uh, the outdoor dining area, the fresco dining area of the food court there. Oh, you see these guys blowing clouds all over the place and getting looks from all these people. It's embarrassing because when, when I bring up my mod and I want to vape, I, I, I'm embarrassed too because people give me a dirty look. And because now there's a negative connotation to vaping. Exactly. Because you guys that have been blowing clouds in public have ruined it for everyone. Basic etiquette. That's all we're trying to say. Look, if you, if you think people mind, then don't do it. Like, if you think that you have the right but people mind, still don't do it like it's it's just being it's just being courteous anyway guys thank you very much for watching us thank you and, quick uh, date vape reviews Miko Padwa please. and Marco Go and this is gonna go on his channel yeah, anyway hit, hit his up and uh, give him a like and a subscribe alright thanks guys. guys see ya